on the National Register of Historic Places, wow. as the most of the property is. A lot of famous people have played here, Babe Ruth. Do you have normal sized golf clubs? I had my clubs extended. Oh yeah, I was yeah. gonna say you had to, right? <laughs> yep. I'm having mine cut down, he's having them extended, <laughs> I mean. League of Laughs was started seven years ago. Probably the biggest thing about our league is it truly is about fun. Instead of doing a monetary donation, uh, we developed a plan to start a golf tournament. The beautiful golf course at Poland Spring Resort offers views of the surrounding lakes and the White Mountains. Enjoy velvet bent grass greens, well-maintained fairways, and tees for all abilities. Also located on the resort grounds is a driving range, practice putting green, and golf school with daily or multi-day lessons. Playing at Poland Spring allows you to be a part of history, play great golf, and enjoy the wonderful, enduring relationships that form here. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Golf Across Maine. I'm your host Connor and on today's episode we're bringing you to one of the most historic golf courses not only in Maine but in the entire country. Poland Spring Golf Club. Amazing views, some tough golf holes and there's a lot of history here just waiting to be told. Cindy Robbins has owned this establishment and the whole resort for quite some time and she's going to tell us all we need to know. All right, Poland Spring Resort here at Poland Spring Golf Course with the owner, Cindy Robbins. Cindy, thanks for having us today. We're excited to be here. Oh, we're excited that you are here. A lot of history at this golf course. Uh, yes, a lot of history. Uh, oldest resort golf course in the country. Really? Yeah, on the National Register of Historic Places. Wow. As the, most of the property is. A lot of famous people have played here. Babe Ruth, uh, Harry Varden, who developed the uh, grip that you use. Um, all kinds of great people, about five presidents. That's awesome. When, when was the golf course established and how long have you been involved? Uh, so Arthur Fenn, the first American born professional, designed this course and it opened in 1896. Uh, and in 1915, Donald Ross redesigned it into an 18 hole course. And then Travis made a few tweaks to it. Um, I came here in 1971 at 16 as a waitress and uh, Mel Robbins came here in 1972 and he leased the property and we bought the property after we got married in 1982. Gotcha. So we've been running the golf course since 1976. You, get, you getting tired yet? No, <laughs> no. I love it. Talk to me about the views. I mean this setting here kind of on the side of a, a mountain side, I guess you would say. Yeah. You got the spectacular this, views all around. Yeah, this is called Ricker Hill because they're the original founders of the property. And um, there's places on the golf course that you can see lakes. There's places on the golf course you can see the White Mountains. Uh, there's views everywhere. And you said it's a Donald Ross designed course, which means there's some, there's some tricky holes. There is. People think because it's a shorter course that it's easy, but it's not. <laughs> Well, your golf pro, John, yes. is in the pro shop. I think we should catch up with him. Maybe he can tell us a little bit more about the specifics of the golf course. Yes, he's the golfer. We got uh, four sets of tees, the blues from the back, which are about 6,000, 6,100 yards, and um, all the way up to about 5,000 yards for the ladies. Good playability for all, all different levels of play. Uh, condition of the golf course right now is great. We had a hot summer. It, um, you know, went really well during that time. We didn't have any problems with any greens over the summer with the hot time that we had. Um, we have uh, about 270 members that, um, that are great. Uh, they support the club every day. Um, we've got some players that have played 100 plus rounds a year um, in a short season. So, uh, and then of course we cater to the, the end guests and, and the local public and, and the tourists that come in from out of state. Uh, my favorite part is really the multiple hats that I wear. It's not just coming in doing one thing each day uh, between you know uh, guest services or member services and then you have I teach quite a bit um, junior programs, individual private lessons, then we have our member tournaments, our outings, uh, our charitable outings, a daily play, uh, club repair, cart fleet, all those things, it keeps me going. Connor, you've heard enough from here in the pro shop. I guess it's time for you to go out there and tee it up yourself. 
All right, everyone, we made it out onto the golf course here with Mark Boss. He was the general manager here at Poland Spring, and he's going to tell us all about our signature hole, which is? Hole number four. Um, it's a par four, uh, overlooks, you know, a lower rank pond. You know, beautiful tree lines on the right and the left hand side. It looks a lot longer than it probably plays because of that downhill yeah, slope. It, it does. If you get it in the fairway, you know, you're going to be good. But if you get off to the right or to the left, you know, you're going to be in trouble. Find some trouble you quick. That's right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Well, you're the general manager, Mark, so you lead us off tee shot wise. I thought visitors, you know, guest, guest goes first. That's you know? usually not how we roll on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Big lefty. Big lefty. Yeah. I normally don't play way over here, but we'll do what we can do. Oh, what's wrong with that? All right, show me what you got. All right. It's going a little right. A little right. A lot of right. Good thing we cut some trees down. Right? What'd you say, that's grounds, <laughs> grounds under, under repair over there? Grounds under repair, yeah. That's good for me. Let's hit it. <laughs> Let's go. You used to be uh, doing something totally different than what you're doing now here as the general manager. You were the fire rescue chief here in Poland. Yeah, I retired as a fire rescue you know, chief, and then um, I still serve now as the assistant chief there. You know, I'm fortunate enough that if uh, I need to leave, you know, I can to go help them out. I'm in sure. the community. Um, that's one of the things, you know, that Cindy's were really try to help the community as much as we absolutely possibly can. Golf is a big part of that for us. You know, it's a huge industry. You know, it brings in a lot of businesses and stuff. Um, tourists, I should say, that come in here to come visit us. Yeah, um, people from all over. From all over. You guys get people yeah. from everywhere. Yeah. All right, Mark, so um, my drive went a little bit right. What can you do first swing of the day, right? Uh, so I got into the ground under repair section, get a free drop here, and now I'm about, what, 150 yards out? Yeah, you're about 150. What's the, what's the play? Where am I aiming here? Well, you know, some of the older guys tell me you want to be aiming over to the right, believe it or not. To the right? You can see how it kind of looks, makes that, that taper going to the left. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's check it and out. Let's see if you can do it. That looks pretty good. Oh, too much. Look at that roll. Yeah. I, that didn't even land on the green and it no, rolled off the back, didn't it? No, I think it just hung on. Just oh, did it him. hang on? Yeah. Man. <laughs> That's one well, you love. Well, you were right. It did funnel down to the it left. It did. That's pretty cool yeah. to see that do that. Awesome. It looked good. No, I'm not oh, going to be enough. I like it. You played it off to the right. Yeah. A little short. That's all right. I held back. You're not short, just, no. the, the, just the shot was a little bit short. <laughs> Do you have normal size golf clubs? I had my clubs extended. Oh yeah, I was yeah. gonna say you had to, right? <laughs> yep. I'm having mine cut down, he's having them extended, I mean. We didn't do what uh, what the pros do and landed on the green on no. our second shot. No. But, you know, that's why we're not golf pros. That's right. Ah, I hit it too hard. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You might give me somewhat of a line over here now. This is gonna be a little tough shot here. This will be tough. I think I'm gonna to try to ease up just a little bit and try to save myself here a little bit. Oh. Still longer than I wanted. I've had the luxury of watching you putt off the rough twice now, so I should not go by the hole here. But if I do, shame on me. Oh, I left enough. it short. Left it short. That came out so quick too. I thought that was just <laughs> going to keep going. All right, little left to right action here. Nothing crazy. Put a good stroke on it. There it is. Save the par. There it is, Mark. Let's go. All right. All right, Mark. What'd you get? A bogey? We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. It doesn't yeah. matter, right? That's you know, right. Thanks for taking us out on the course here. This fourth hole here at Poland Spring is absolutely amazing. The view is incredible. We had a blast. So we can't wait to come back. I'm glad you guys were able to come here. I had a great time. Absolutely. And that's your featured hole. Whether you're looking to buy, build, or refinance your home, we're here every step of the way. With the current real estate market being so competitive, Availability and speed really matters. Here at Skowhegan Savings Bank, our community bankers answer their phone after hours and on weekends. Your loan will not be sold and it'll be serviced by our local main team. We look forward to working with you. Visit Skowhegan.com or any of our 12 main locations to get started. We have the most dependable cars, functional cars. All of our vehicles pretty much are available in all wheel drive, whether it's a sedan or an SUV. That'll get you into the mountains, into the hiking, biking, going to camp, or even playing golf. So I'm an avid golfer, and I've been playing for about 45 years. Tend to seem to get worse every year, but I've been a member at Falmouth for 32 years and really enjoy it. So please come visit us at Berlin City Lexus, and you'll enjoy our sales team. They'll take great care of you, and we look forward to seeing you. 
So you probably heard of that song, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, right? Well, that's exactly what goes down here at Poland Spring Golf Club on Tuesday nights. Are you ready to LOL? When you hear the word league, you think, oh, competition. I got to go every week. I got to commit. No. The way ours is designed is you play with who you want to play with. The other big thing is if they've signed up for tea time and something comes up at home or work, they just call and say, oh, I'm not going to make it. Now we do keep score. We play a lot of team games. We play a lot of not scrambles, but best ball. So four people go out, they all play the hole, and they only record the one best score. So it makes everybody very comfortable. League of Laughs was started seven years ago. Probably the biggest thing about our league is it truly is about fun. Our youngest, I believe, is 25, and our oldest, who never misses, is 89. She's out here every week. In the sleet, the rain, she don't care, she's here. The other thing, as a teacher, one of the things we always enjoyed is when kids came to us and celebrated their accomplishments. This league puts me right back to where I was. I have players come up and go, I made it over the water on the sixth hole. I had longest drive tonight, Karen. I, I got my first par tonight. Uh, those are just wonderful accomplishments, you know. Hi, uh, my name is Cindy Hotham, and I've been golfing for almost 20 years, but seriously, I've been golfing with the League of Last for about seven years since Karen, since the inception. I love looking forward to my Tuesday nights, um, coming up with my, with my girlfriends and meeting all the other new people, um, kind of giving a few pointers here and there, laughing, um, just I enjoy the whole evening. It's my night away from home, from work, from kids, all of it, so I just love it. Favorite memory? Um, some of them I probably can't say on TV, but, <laughs> but um, probably the night we all got a par, each one of us got a par, and um, I had longest drive, so I was pretty, pretty impressed with myself. Hi, my name is Kristen, and I've been playing in the League of Laughs for four years. Hi, my name is Candy Taylor, and I've been playing for two years. My experience in the League of Laughs has just been relaxing and calming. I look forward to my Tuesday nights. I'm away from the family, the kids, work. I network a lot here. Um, yeah, I just love it. I look forward to it. I, I love it. I love the competition. I love the non-competition. That's the best thing about golf is you can have a great day, you can have a really good hit and a really bad hit, and you still just love being out here. My best memory would be the first time I actually came for the first night and met Karen and come to realize that we were actually cousins, and I wasn't aware of that. Um, another good memory I have is the first time I actually made it across the pond, and I was all excited. <laughs> I think all women should be involved in golf, even at an early age. Um, it just, it, it gives you a sense of accomplishment. Um, it's great exercise just to be out in the fresh air. Yeah, just, I don't know, being with other women that play, it's just rewarding. It's laugh, laughter and fun <laughs> and I don't know, just, it's great. Like, golf is fantastic. I, I don't know what else just to say. Just try it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Greg. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to do this. Ready to go. All right. Danielle, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, come on in. We're your neighbor, your friend, your banker. It's Gohegan Savings. Hi, my name is Brian Bickford. I'm the executive director of Maine Golf. Our mission is to strengthen today's game, launch tomorrow's game, and lead the collective effort to grow golf in Maine. Thank you for joining Golf Across Maine. We're very excited about this program and getting the word out about our great resources in the state of Maine. Maine has 130 great golf courses from the ocean to the mountains. Please visit us at mainegolf.org and let's get out there and play Maine golf. 
The thing that I love most about Lexus is that the customer is always first. It starts from the time the car was built, the quality of these vehicles. If you haven't experienced it, I'd recommend it. You know, about six years ago, we looked at what was important to our consumers and what we found was time was number one. We revamped the way we did business and we looked at everything from the experience through the process to the pricing to the way you buy a vehicle. Thanks for watching Golf Across Maine. Again, we hope you come down, visit us, take a walk around the dealership, see what we're all about, have a cup of coffee with us, and hopefully find your next vehicle down the road. Hi, I'm Dan Tilton with Skowhegan Savings Bank. For over 150 years, we've been helping make our communities a better place to live and work. One of the great things I love about our communities here in Maine is a wide variety of beautiful golf courses. Not only is golf enjoyable to play, but the game brings people together and helps raise needed funds and awareness for numerous charities and nonprofits across our state. Join me as we learn more about how courses throughout our state are helping improve our communities. Welcome back to Poland Spring Golf Course. You've already heard about the history and the beauty of this course. Now the team at Poland Spring is gonna share with you how they support their community through the game of golf. Thank you, Dan. Uh, I'm Tom Pernup, Fire Rescue Chief for the town of Poland. And we're here today for the Fire and Slice 12th Annual Golf Tournament to benefit our nonprofit, uh, Poland Fire Rescue Benevolent Association. 12 years ago, uh, we were trying to find a way to fundraise uh, for the fire department and we started working with Poland Spring Resort and Poland Spring Water. Instead of doing a monetary donation, uh, we developed a plan to start a golf tournament and here we are 12 years later and after 12 years, we have a full field, we're full of sponsors, we have people from all over New England, uh, they fly in from North Carolina, they drive from New York, Connecticut, which is pretty amazing. So we have 34 teams, which is great because it's just enough, but it's super busy. Uh, the guys and girls here really love the beverage carts. Uh, they love to see the scenic views. I think in, in the day and age that we live in, having private sector, public sector, and nonprofit working together for a common goal. It doesn't matter your level of golf, you're here to have fun. Uh, we have great prizes, great gift bags sponsored by Poland Spring Water, and it's just, it's just a great day. Once again, thank you everyone for swinging by our 12th annual Fire and Slice Golf Tournament, and I hope to see you all next year. Aaron Leland here with Maine Golf. Uh, I'm excited to talk about growing the game of golf in Maine, specifically for girls uh, playing golf. And I'm excited to bring on Ruby and Jade Haylock. They've been playing golf since they've been about yay high. Uh, and so they're here to talk a little more about their experiences and their uh, you know, life in golf, especially winning tournaments all over the place. So um, I'm excited to introduce you to Ruby and Jade Haylock. Hi, I'm Ruby Haylock. Hi, I'm Jade Haylock. And, and we, we love, love to play, play golf, golf in Maine. Maine. I've been playing golf my entire life. I started playing in competitive tournaments when I was eight. I've been playing for like 13 years since I was like two. Um, golf teaches me a lot about just mentally how to be strong and I love meeting new people on the course. It's a lot of fun, I love the game. I found that like right when I stepped onto the scene in Maine golf, I was welcomed with open arms and um, especially the other juniors that I was playing with. I feel like everyone is so welcoming and supporting and they just do anything they can to like further your success. The Maine Women's Amateur was extremely exciting. It always is. I absolutely love that tournament and to win it is I just feel like I have so much support behind me. Everybody wants to win but at the end of the day Whoever wins, we are all supportive of that person and proud of that person. Winning the main event was awesome. I was struggling a bit this year. I haven't played that well, but now I've changed a couple things in my swing and I've just had a better mindset overall. So to all junior golfers in the state of Maine, I would highly suggest you get a set of clubs and you get out on your local course. Um, golf is an extremely good sport and it's great to get out with your family and your friends and just play some fun golf. Stick with it, it's a great sport. I hope to see you on the course soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, our work's done on the course. Now it's time to end any round as you always should. Up on the deck with some great food and a cold drink. Howdy everybody. I'm Ethan, kitchen manager here at Mel's Hilltop Restaurant in 19th Hole Lounge. 
Well, Ethan, good to meet you. We're excited to be here at Mel's, home of the 19th hole. This spread looks amazing. You just cooked all this up on your own? Yes, sir, I did. That's impressive, man. There's some good looking stuff here. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but how long have you been working here and, and what do you most enjoy about working in the kitchen? Well, I've been working with Cindy in the Poland Spring Resort here since I was 15 years old. Wow. Um, and I came back to work for her this summer and uh, to work here at uh, the hilltop in the 19th hole. And what she really wanted us to do was expand our menu from your typical pub food Yep. to uh, have entrees and something a little fancier for the golfers as well. I think you guys uh, hit the nail on the head with that. This isn't your typical, you know, hot dog at the turn or, or sandwich after your, your round of 18 holes. This is like incredible cuisine here. I mean, it looks amazing. So what, what goes into the, to the prep and the work that you guys do in the kitchen here? Just, uh, you know, we, of course we started with our, with our regular menu, Reuben, steak sub, nothing too crazy. Everyone knows what goes in there. And we just had to think of uh, some pl flavor profiles that would really fit with a summer menu. Sure. And something folks would really enjoy after a round of golf. Absolutely. What are some of your most popular items? I'm guessing some of those things are on the table here. Indeed, indeed. Um, buffalo chicken salad is definitely our most popular salad this summer. That looks good. Uh, great flavor profiles out of that. Our salmon, grilled salmon with teriyaki glaze is most certainly our uh, most popular entree mm -hmm. this summer. Yep. Um, and of course, your classic Reuben and your Philly, uh, Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Um, you can't go wrong with those classic no, pub items. No, absolutely not. What do we got over here? That is a chicken entree with a vegetable. It's almost like a stew. Okay. You throw over the top of it. Um, the stew is a pesto tomato base. Very nice. Yeah. And then steak, I'm guessing. Steak Some with a of... uh, marsala mushroom gravy over the top. Okay. Nice, 13 man. ounce ribeye, oh, it's real good. That looks really tasty, yeah. What's the uh, reaction from the golfers that come come and eat at uh, Mel's? They definitely like to change. Um, and man, do I get golfers. I mean, we got three <laughs> leagues that play three nights in a row, yeah. endless tournaments. Yeah. Um, of course, regular hotel guests that come and, uh, and play the trifecta. Everyone loves it. Absolutely. Well, to go along with this great food, you got to have a good bar. You guys have that. You have beer on tap. You guys make oh, drinks, yeah. drink specials. Tell me about that. Daily drink specials at the bar, beer on tap. We have a lot of local beers on tap. We have Baxter on tap yep. right out of Lewiston. Allagash is right out of Westbrook, I believe. Um, Birchwood is right out of Gray. They're like five miles down the road. A lot of great local beers. Here we have a uh, Tito's Blueberry Lemonade. That's a big seller this summer. We can't keep enough Tito's on the shelf. Oh, it's been a hot summer. That sounds like a refreshing drink right there. What's your favorite part about working in the kitchen and kind of being here at Poland Spring Golf Course? I love providing a good service for our golfers. Um, and I love making it more than just your average, uh, than just your average meal after a golf game. Yeah, absolutely, well said. Well, Ethan, it's been great talking to you, getting to know you, looking at your uh, your work of art here, so to speak, with this amazing food. But now it's time to dive in. We're excited. This is the best part of the show. And uh, it's been an incredible day here at the golf course. So thanks for hooking us up with this amazing food. And uh, we can't wait to come back. It was great to meet you guys. Thanks yeah, for coming. Absolutely. Here's to Poland Spring Golf Course. And the golf across Maine. Thanks for watching this episode of Golf Across Maine. A huge thank you to our presenting sponsor, Berlin City Lexus, our friends at Maine Golf, New Center Maine, and Skowhegan Savings Bank. Be sure to follow us on social media at Maine Life Media, and we hope to see you out on the golf course next week. And this is our camera that we're looking at right here. Not that well, one, this but one. You, this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, yes, this I'm one. sorry. Why did yeah. I say that? Yeah. Is this your first time? Are you yeah, nervous? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Are you nervous? <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, all right. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Whoa! <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> yeah.